Hi, I'm Ernest with Upfix. Have you ever had issues with your car's power windows, locks, or wipers that seem impossible to diagnose? It could be due to a hidden control unit called the gem. Today, I'll explain what it is, how to identify if your vehicle has one, and what to do if it fails. Stay with me for the next few minutes and you'll learn how this small module can control big functions in your car and how we at Upfix can help get it back in work in order. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Ford introduced the GEM, a powerful control unit not limited to just the four-wheel drive vehicles. If you have even a two-wheel drive vehicle with power windows, you could have a GEM controlling multiple functions. The GEM combines several control modules into one. This means it influences a variety of functions from power windows and locks to wipers and even interior lighting. It's like the brain of your car's electrical system. If you own a Ford Excursion, Explorer, F-Series truck, or even a Ranger from 1997 to 2004, your vehicle might be equipped with a gem. If you don't see your vehicle listed, no worries. Submit a custom repair request on our website and we'll assist you. If your gem has failed, you'll notice it stops communicating altogether. Even with a good OBD2 scan tool, if you can't get a response, the gem might need repair. And remember, water damage is a common culprit, especially around the fuse box area. Check for corrosion or any signs of water intrusion. Here's the good news. Sending in your gem for repair is easy. Just visit our website and find your specific year, make, and model and mail it in. Our certified Upfix repair technicians will repair and bench test your unit, ensuring it's plug and play whenever you get it back. No need for costly replacements or reprogramming. Don't wait until these problems become major problems. Reach out to us at Upfix and let's get your gem back in perfect working condition. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe for more car repair tips and tricks. Do you have any questions? Drop them in the comments below and we're here to help.